The importance of AC Transit's program to the Bay Area and the nation is one in terms of the Bay Area will uh, continue to reduce uh, emissions and secondly uh, to the entire country we set the standard, we're the model, the rest of the country will follow as always. The community, AC Transit's leadership, uh, its board uh, saw this many, many years ago and decided to step out there and take the lead. It's a beautiful bus, uh, no emissions, uh, it's safe, it's quiet, uh, and it rides very smoothly, so I love it. The role of government uh, has got to be to provide the investment uh, in uh, AC transit and other transit systems to begin to have zero emissions uh, buses. I think we've brought in probably 75 million over the past 10 years uh, for AC transit just for this one effort. And I think we need to push much more. And the federal and state government needs to step up to the plate and really uh, realize that um, global warming and climate change is upon us and that we all have uh, a role to play, and AC Transit is certainly playing this role, but the federal government, um, from my perspective, should make more investments in this. Government has to be the early adopter. By, by adopting new technologies earlier, government first demonstrates them, shows people that they work, that these buses are just like regular buses, except quieter and cleaner, uh, and then help to make and drive a market in the private sector. Being able to come up with clean, affordable mass transit options is going to be crucial to future sustainability. Oh, it's beautiful. It's clean, it's quiet, it rides well. I don't think there's anybody who would find this ride not to be as good or probably much better than any bus they've ever been on. This is one step on the road to seeing this technology go uh, global. <laughs> We know that we have to cut down on greenhouse gas emissions if we're going to have a world to leave to our children. Therefore, to take your typical bus, which has a lot of particulate, a lot of um, emissions that aren't, that aren't healthy, and change to a hydrogen fuel cell is something that we need to do all over the country. And by incubating it here with grant money and with special funds, not with general fund that could go into running more buses, but the special environmental funds, we are going to be able to prove, and AC Transit will, I think, can really be a model for every bus company in the Bay Area, in California, and in the nation. This is the next generation of what can be possible to get people to work and school and where they need to be and more and more of them taking transit as they realize what uh, not only convenient but healthy for themselves and for the planet. We understand that our children will have a world that is not as safe, healthy or comfortable to live in as the world we live in now if we don't take steps to cut down on greenhouse gas emissions. We know that hydrogen fuel cells, like the kind used in this bus, can make all the difference. The bus is great. The bus is quiet. The bus is smooth. <laughs> the bus has beautiful big windows, comfortable seats. Um, it's terrific.